Hello, my name is Jenny and I'm a community artist working in Derbyshire and I run a group called Spiral Arts based in Derby Arboretum. So today I'm going to show you how to make a lantern to celebrate winter solstice. So I've got some on the table here and they're very uh, easy to make and I will tell you what materials that you'll need. First of all, you'll need a plastic bottle. So I've got plenty on the table here. Then you will need some tissue paper. I've got some in different colours and I've got some white tissue paper. You will need some glue and a brush. You will need um, some trimming for the edges that I've got here at the bottom. Um, I've also got some um, uh, scissors that make nice trimming patterns. I've got my big scissors. I've got a braddle to make a hole. I've got some double-sided tape and I've got some plastic on my table because when you put the glue on it will be a bit messy. Okay, and oh I've got some ribbon uh, or some cord here if you want to put a handle on it. So the first thing that you need to do is to get your plastic bottle and I've got one here and the easiest way to uh, cut into your plastic bottle is to make a little hole. So I've got a sharp pointed tool here called a braddle um, and you might want to ask an adult to help you so I'm just going to press it into the bottle it's quite noisy and then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut through the middle of my bottle so you can cut your middle section of your bottle you can cut the top off and the bottom off or you could cut just the top if you want to carry it. So I've got my bottle there. Just going to put the glasses on. And uh, so then the next thing that we do is I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful patterns to put onto your bottle. So what you need is some small squares of tissue paper. I've got some here. And I have worked out you need about three pieces of tissue paper like this and it's and you can cut them all in one go so I'm going to fold them in half and then I'm going to fold them in half again and then I'm going to fold them in half again so you get like a triangle shape and then I'm going to cut some patterns out of them and I'm going to draw them in black marker pen so that you can see them And then I will cut them out and then I will open it up and show you the design. So I've done some marker pen designs on there. So I'm going to cut them out and if you have, if you need some help, you can always ask an adult to help you do this bit. If you draw your own patterns, that's lovely. Okay, so I'm cutting them out. Little bit fiddly, but you can have a have a go. So you should get a shape like that, something like that. And then I'm going to open them out. And then you'll get three designs that you can tissue on to your onto your uh, lantern. So you need to do them in lots of different colours. So I've done some in pink and some green and some yellow. And I'll just open them out and show you. And these are going to go on the outside of your plastic bottle. So you need to get them all um, laid out so that you can pick them up easily when you're doing. That's a nice one. It's always a surprise what, what, how it's going to turn out. We've got two on that one. Okay. So the next thing that you need to do I'm just going to move this out of the way. Is you need some glue and a brush. And you'll also need some white tissue afterwards. So you put your pattern on first, and then afterwards you um, put your white tissue on. So my glue is quite runny, like that. And I've got 
uh, water in it and I'm going to brush it onto my plastic bottle first. So that's the easiest way to do it. The tissue is very, very fragile and might tear if you try and put it onto that. And then I'm going to lay very gently on top the tissue circle and then I'm going to brush out from the centre so that it sticks on. And then that's the easiest way for not getting it all torn. And then you just work your way round and put all your designs on. So you can overlap them, you can put one next to each other, uh, you can make a, a zigzag pattern. So I'm going to choose a different colour now. So that's the pink one. And again, really gently lay them on. And then I'm painting again over with the glue so they're very uh, secure and stuck down onto your lantern. And then I'm going to go a bit further round. I'm going to put the green one. You can make some big designs and some smaller designs and put one over the other so you get a different colour in the middle. So you can see it fits about three of these size ones round. I might, what I might do, I might put this one over the top just to show you what it looks like with two different colours. Like that. And then the next bit is to get your white tissue and to, you can cut some pieces. It's much easier to put it on in smaller pieces than in one great big piece so that it doesn't get um, all in a bit of a mess with it. So I'm just going to cut mine up and then I'm going to lay it on and again, go over the outside with the glue so it's nice and stuck down. That's it. And just join it up to the next one. It doesn't matter if it overlaps, it won't notice, you won't notice it. Like that. When you've got water in the glue, it makes it much easier to brush onto your lantern. Oh, just got a little gap left. I'll just cut a smaller piece. Also, you can put some more designs on the outside. I think this one, I put them on underneath the white tissue and again over the white tissue. So you could put another one over the, over the outside like that. I'll just put that on to show you. And I'll put a pink one on. Like that. And then you need to leave it to dry um, and then after, after it's dried then you're able to put on your, um, your trimming and I'll just show you how to, I'll leave that for what to one side. And the trimming, how I made the trimming was just a piece of um, uh, cut thin card and I've put double sided tape on the back and then I've got my scissors, floss with them. And these are zigzag scissors, so you can cut down the middle and then you'll get two pieces of trimming so that uh, you can put one at the top and one at the bottom. It gives a nice um, finish to your lantern. So I'm just cutting all the way down. The trimming looks nicer on the lanterns that are, have got no top and bottom. 
the, the bigger ones with the uh, bottom still on are rounded at the bottom, so it might be more difficult to add your trimming, but you could have a go. You could have it higher up where it's not um, curved in. And then you take the backing off the double-sided tape, like that. And then you can stick it round the top and just push it, push it all the way around. Like that. And then if you want to make um, a handle, I'll just show you that while that one's drying a bit. So on this one, again, I'll use my bradle and I'll just make a little hole in the side and make one the other side. Like that. And you might need to ask someone to help you do that. And then I've got some cord that I'm just going to push through on one side and you can make a knot. This is like a rainbow cord I've got here. And then you'll be able to carry your lantern um, when you go out into the, to the festivals. I hope you have a lovely time making your lanterns and um, maybe you can post some photographs of it when you're finished. Thank you.